This is the Bars of Chains podcast where we are going to give you a fun, jam-packed episode full of fun content. Um, but first, before we get into today's episode, um, we would like to talk about our uh, sponsor, Anchor. Um, if you plan on making your podcast, this is the app you need to use because it is super simple and easy to use. Um, I'm going to kind of go over some you know, real brief stuff about it, that uh, why it's going to fit for you. Uh, for one, it's free, um, and that by itself is a pretty good indication on uh, why we're advertising it here. It's no charge. Um, the creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast episode is top of the line and everything you want to use for your podcast because if you don't have you know a producer or something like that that you uh, have to your access but you still want to do a fun podcast that you would like to get out to your friends family and everyone else in the world then uh, this is what you want to use because it's simple um, and, it, and it allows you to be able to cut it up and edit however you feel the need to and be able to tinker around add sound effects stuff like that um, also, uh, there is a dis distribution tool that you uh, definitely should get on board with using um, that allows you to be able to post your episodes to Spotify, Anchor, um, and many, many more that we on the Bars of Chains podcast use as well. Um, last but not least, um, you have no minimum listenership. So if you feel like you got a million dollar idea with your podcast, you know, this is the place to do it because you can make back money um, just as long as you uh, have a sponsor segment for uh, for Anchor and it'll uh, it'll take off for you. Um, and to cap all that off, do use this. It's it's super simple to use, very easy, and it's definitely something you want to get on board with. Um, thank you guys so much and enjoy today's episode. Welcome back to the Bars of Chains podcast where we have now our second interview um, and this time we actually have a familiar face that was on episode three but uh, there's a little plot twist to this one so uh, Marky is actually now making music. I am. I am indeed in fact. So how, how is that bar spitting life? <laughs> oh dude it's fun bro like okay so like I had my first song um, I've had it recorded bro since like December of 2018. Yeah. Never put it out because I was like, this is not good. Yeah. <laughs> and then me and Christian ended up, we we're, were like talking about making some other music. Christian's my little cousin. Yeah. Our, yeah. our little cousin. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So I was talking to him and then he ended up finding the file for it. And then we like remastered it and, you know, like had the auto tune and stuff. Yeah. And then it was actually like pretty good. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Let's put it out. And then Elijah. Yeah. AKA my little cousin. Oh, okay. So the story behind it is like that was. That was recorded a while back, and then oh, like so long ago. Oh, and then so he just added the feature verse on it. No, no, no. It's my very first song. That one's called my "I Love My Life." Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, one's yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I'm singing. Yeah. And shit. Um, I re I recorded that in 2018, and then um, Elijah's he's heard my song and he's like, "Yo, let's fucking let's hop on one, bro." And I was like, "Hell yeah, like I'm down." And then we made "Drowning" and like. I think it was like a week or something like that. We ended up making that song, but yeah, I'm getting, I'm in the works to start making actual music I could put on like Spotify and stuff. So hopefully this goes well. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a blast, dude. It's actually crazy. I, uh, I don't know if I had talked to you since, uh, for a couple, about a month, I would say away. Yeah. So I'm actually getting ready to hop back in, dude. I, I gotta, I gotta ask from, uh, one of my buddies, um, uh, his name's Hiatus. Nice. My buddy Isaac. He uh, he's tr he's putting out like a like a mixtape album. And uh, nice. so that's funny. The track that he want he we're kind of working on a collaboration with is actually not really gonna go onto the mixtape album. He's kind of using it as like a like a teaser single. Oh, you okay. know, kind of like yeah. one of those like he wanted it to make the album mixtape type deals. And yeah, he was yeah. like, oh shit, we're ready for this project. And then, you exactly, know, yeah. surprise, it's not even on there. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, his, uh, his body of work's pretty crazy too. He, uh, kind of, he kind of retired for a little while there. And then he, um, kind of gradually worked his way back in just sort of similar. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that's just how it goes, you know. I mean, I, it is. I, like no lie, dude. I haven't really picked up a pen since like uh, it has to be at least since my sophomore or freshman year of high school. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I was just kind of like, yeah, you know. I mean, it, yeah. I was like, 
you know, it's it's fun. But I think oh, yeah. at the time, like, I just wasn't talking to the right producers. Oh, no. Like, I, I just... I was trying to work with this one dude that I knew from, like, middle school. Mm-hmm. And, like, he just totally was, like, didn't have a vision, you know? Oh, and he was kind of just doing it to do it. Yeah, yeah. He was more doing it, like, just to get a cash grab. And I'm like, yeah. honestly, bro, I can't work with you. You yeah, know what I mean? That, like, dude. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I, not to not to, you know, be a dick or nothing, but it's like... I I have more of a vision for this, you know? And like, oh, yeah. I, I, and I, my, my, like, mentality towards music is, like, it, if it's even just my, my own music, you know? Oh, like, yeah. I have a vision for it. If it doesn't come out the way that I want it to come out, then yeah. it's not going to come out. You yeah, know what I mean? no, no, no. That's exactly how like, I am, too. I, I, and that's, that, you know, kind of touching back on your, uh, your mentality on not putting it out because you're oh, just yeah. like, it's not ready. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. No, yeah. I was, I mean, even back then, like, Christian was barely starting to, like, right. make music, bro. Yeah. And, like, the beat is good. Um, but, like, when we were, like, I mean, I'm not – I'm no singer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I, I have decent vocals, I would like to think, or from what I've yeah. been told. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so when he auto-tuned it and stuff, it just sounded, like, so bad. Yeah, right, and I was, like, I'm right. not going to put this out, bro. You right. know what I mean? Like, and then Christian, like, you know what? He worked on his craft, and we are going to make another – like I said, we are going to make another song, and then – we, we found that one and we were like, dude, we could just remaster this one and you right. know what I mean? Like, I, I really yeah. love that song, like, honestly, because like, I don't, I don't do the whole pen and paper thing. Like, I yeah. just, I, See, I, and, I'm for most of the time right. I freestyle, like not like yeah. freestyle like yeah. in the studio, but like even even me, me and Elijah were making that song. Yeah, like we found some other beat and we were just like sitting in my room, just like yeah. just spit and spit and spit and I made like the like the the whole first verse i literally made that like that night yeah that was like an hour's worth of time elijah made his little chorus and yeah then we see made... i'm i'm very similar to yeah. that because like i i found out really quick that i cannot write a whole song and actually record it without it sounding like really not yeah the way it's supposed to sound oh, 100%. so i i kind of found like a way to cheat it so to speak um i was kind of like under the mentality of like all right well i can't actually write this thing like word for word and spit it the way that i'm trying to say it like i'm writing it the way i want it to come out but it's not coming out the way that i'm trying to say it you know what i mean and so what i did was i just kind of was like all right well i'm i'm just as good at freestyling as i am writing Mm -hmm. so all i need to do is which which last part of the bar that i want to rhyme i'll put at the back part of it and i'll kind of implement the rest of the verse yeah yeah, you know what i mean in between stuff Yeah. yeah yeah And so that's kind of like that's kind of like my mentality towards it because I did the same thing like when I was a uh, when I heard the beat that I was a uh, that I, you know, the guy asked me to work on mm-hmm. and I was like well, all right well you know let's uh, let's you know tr- I'll just freestyle to it you know what oh, I mean yeah. and I was like I actually came out pretty good you know exactly I mean? yeah, like yeah. I'm like all right well you know now, now I know like the mentality towards it so like I'll, I'll write what I want to rhyme and cross rhyme with and then exactly you yeah. know yeah that's what I, I mean that. it's it's easier to make I feel like. I mean, honestly, I only have two songs, but yeah, I feel like it's way easier to make music that way. Like you, 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 you get the beat, and then you just go and go and go and go, and then you're like, "Damn, that bar was fucking hard. I'm gonna use that shit yeah. and put it in there." And then you're like, you kind of have an idea of what you're gonna talk about, right? And then you just keep going along with that. And yeah. That, honestly, I don't know. I think they turned out pretty good. So yeah, no, I was listening. <laughs> I I listened to it uh when the when the with the feature with Elijah on it mm-hmm. when that came out. I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. You like, like that? Thank yeah. you. I was like, it's super like, not like rappy. You yeah, know? it's not. Like I, I, cause I mean, like when I make my when I make my stuff, it's like I, I kind of see it to kind of not necessarily be rap e, you know, but yeah. I kind of like I like to throw some twists in there. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? I like to try and get like, you know, some some cool verbiage in there. So it's yeah. really appreciated when it's like super not complex to listen to. See, that's that's you know what I mean. I, that, that's why. I do it the way that I do it because like yeah. rapping like Eminem like that kind of style that's cool it, it it's yeah, nice right, but right. I don't I don't have the wordplay like that you know what I mean I can no one does I can yeah. make, exactly <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean or even like Kendrick or yeah whatever yeah. you want to call it yeah uh, I, I I find it more fun to find a topic to talk about I don't want to have all these crazy like fucking similes and alliterations and all that right, shit you know what I mean like right. that's cool for them but 
That's just not my yeah, style. Yeah, even with me, like... I'm, I'm not big on, like, using upper vocabulary. You yeah, know? see, me neither. I just, like... Me neither. Like, I'm not trying to rap hippopotamus with something. You know what I mean? Or, like, autonomous... Auto... Like, no, I'm not I'm not trying to do all that. You know hippopotamus. I mean? like, right. Hey, bitch, I'm that ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> right. I was just like, no, no. It's not really, like... It's not really my go-to. I, I mean, I like to throw up funny... My, I think my... My comparison thing is I like to do funny punchlines. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like some, throw something like, oh, that was kind of funny. You know there what I go. mean? Yeah. Like just kind of make it entertaining, you know? Because, no, I mean, I I, like no bullshit. Like, I mean, no, it's kind of like old. But it's like it, it, there's a reason why, like, artists that try to do that a lot are kind of not really getting a whole lot of a lot no, of recognition yeah. because it's just, it's just not popular anymore. It's the old you know? school style of rap. You know what I mean? Like yeah. <clears throat> if you were doing that in – that early 2000s cool yeah you know well, I, ha- I, mean? I have an appreciation for it oh but yeah. it's like it's like it, if i'm gonna be real like it's not my first go-to no. like as i evolved and grew up i very much so became like more of like i like a good sound you know what yes, I, mean? I prefer yes. something that i can actually listen to rather than i have to think and process it you yeah know what i mean yeah yeah no like it, it's it's cool from time to time like <laughs> even I, and the most like lyrically inclined thing that i listened to last was probably kill shot by eminem and yeah that's about it you know what i mean yeah. like i'm not really too big into the lyrical world like it's cool it, now i nice. do like beefs that's that's my oh i, I love beefs i love beefs too. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it it's just like i don't know I, I i for me and when i'm making music i i wouldn't put something out if i wouldn't listen to it you know what i mean right, right. which is like from what i've heard from multiple people is like that could be a blessing or a curse you know what i mean like yeah you 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 know, this song may just be sick, like for the people, but you may not like it. But sometimes you gotta put it out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It, it. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Music's fun though. I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I mean, like honestly, bro. I mean, I wish one day I could find all the notebooks that I used to like write music into. Yeah. But like, I was writing every day. You know, oh, I mean? I like I, I very much so was like, yep, um, you know, at a family dinner, let me just go ahead and pull out my notebook. I know, you <laughs> I mean? would always carry around your notebook, and I was like, why does he got a notebook? Right, and he right. me one time, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And that's, it's funny, because, like, I really had that vision for, like, like, I wanted to do this as a career when I was younger, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this full head. But it's just because, like, I don't know, it, it really got fun to, like, write projects. I never oh, yeah. really got to like you know using beats on them because I mean I wasn't at that time I was 13 years old I didn't have you know hundreds of a dollars producer, and, yeah. yeah and so I was just like all right well you know I'll just write it as practice now and then I'm sure when I get older I'll be able to spend money on beats and yeah. production and all that stuff and yeah. then it just I think at some point the vision kind of faded because I mean I think oh, you, yeah. as you grow up and mature you're like you know that's it's not an easy task oh, it's you know not. what I mean you really got to know the right people and you really got to like you know really have a commitment for it you know. <laughs> And I mean, even then, like some oh, people yeah. just use it as a hobby, you know, it's fun, yeah. you know, that's, I think that's, but that's what sparked me to want to do it is like, I just like have a creative mindset now, you know, yeah. that no, creative side of me kind of returned and I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. fun. Yeah. When you grow up, you kind of just like lose touch of all that Yeah. kind of shit that you dreamt of, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> everybody wanted to be an astronaut when they were a little kid, but nobody right. wanted to be a fucking astronaut, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and it's kind of the same with music, you know what I mean? Like music is it's super fun it's it's not easy to make necessarily right. but like it doesn't you don't there's not a whole lot of effort behind it you know what i mean you got to put the money towards like well the, and the material changes dude like oh, I, yeah. I i mean when i used to write like i i was really thinking about it i'm like honestly the stuff i would write about was only relevant to like middle school and high school kids oh yeah exactly you know yeah. what i mean like yeah. i know no 30 year old somewhere is gonna pick this up and be like oh yeah <laughs> you know like talking to Talking to a girl behind the bleachers. <laughs> talking to a girl behind the bleachers, yeah. <laughs> Going to prom. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess it's just, you know, you just got to kind of figure out as an adult like oh, yeah. how it works, you know. Yeah. Now, that's, I mean, even that's what I'm kind of doing. Mo- mo- I mean, both of the songs i put out so far are just super sad. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's like, you know, it's people vibe to it exactly you know what yeah. i mean like i mean you were we were talking earlier about you getting like three thousand plays on it oh know, yeah out the gate and that's pretty that's insane right that's crazy yeah i mean just for i it, for it to like i mean 
music wasn't like you know like a su- I mean growing up I know yeah. that like music wasn't a super passion for you so like, no 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 you know it's kind of like cool that like you know you pick it up and it like takes off and it gets Dude, unique sound you know trust me I didn't expect any of my songs to get <laughs> like a hundred plays bro you know what right I mean? my first one got like three hundred or something like that and the second one got to three thousand I'm like what the, right, right what is going on <laughs> you know what I mean right. I'm like I'm like looking at stats I'm seeing like all these different countries that are listening to this shit bro like Australia and germany and i'm like what the why yeah. are you listening to this but like thank you <laughs> right <laughs> you right. know what i mean it's like it's super cool honestly dude like and and for me it's still kind of like a hobby thing i uh, it would be an ideal if i could do this like as yeah. an income but you know what i mean there's only a few people that make it out bro and right make right make it big and can sustain a living off of this you know what i mean so it would be it would be cool but i'm just gonna keep grinding and treat it like it's fun well, that's until, the thing i mean like it's it's crazy on how easy it is to really make yourself a voice out there. Because oh, I, yeah. So I don't know if you saw my buddy uh, Jason's song that he put out, that dude that does my concept art. Is it the Concane Bubblegum guy? Yeah. 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 Uh, he, that song was actually super good. Well, and, like, it's a trip because, like, I asked him, like, well, how much did you actually spend to make that? Because that looks, like, pretty, like, like you actually had to pay somebody to do all that. He's like, dude, I recorded in my basement and made the music video in my basement. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that, that didn't answer my question. How much did you spend? He's like, I didn't spend anything. Yeah. <laughs> it was in my basement. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he's like, it's just, it's just a trip though. Like how it, you know, you really just got, if you have the right tools, you can take dude. it as far as you want, you know? Yeah. Bro. And I'm, I'm super blessed. I mean, a lot of our family does music shit, you know? Oh yeah. So, you know I mean? Yeah. We, I, I, we already have connections regardless. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? like, yeah. So I think that that was definitely like a pushing point for me. Like, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if like if I didn't have those connections off the rip, if I would have ever ended up even doing anything. Right. I did Freestyle Fridays on Snapchat. <laughs> well, and it was news to me when I found out that Christian was producing because I was yeah. like, it's uh, I would have never taken him for that. Like, I never would have thought, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah, he's always just been one of those ones that's like, I'm not going to go with what everybody else is doing. I'm going to find something I really like right. and go with it. And right. that's, I, I love it because, dude, like, to see his progression from when he first started, bro, to what he's doing now, like, he'll make me a fucking fire-ass beat, bro, in, like, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, bro. And I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I mean, that first beat that we made, it took us a couple hours. And it wasn't even – I mean, it's not like it's a bad beat, but it's not a great beat. You yeah. know what I mean? Like – now, dude, the last two beats he's made me, I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Like, right. this is sick. <laughs> right. Um, so, to kind of, so, like, the last time you were on here, we were talking a little bit of uh, some ice. Some puck. Yeah. Love some puck. Um, what, are your, uh, what are your thoughts on the NHL? Because it's been a while since we talked it. <laughs> I think we were in the qualifying rounds when we were talking about uh, yeah. hockey coming back. I don't even think we're, that it even started yet from what I remember. I think it was yeah. just it – was No, like yeah, they barely started. released the bracket, and we were, like, picking to which teams we liked. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, that was kind of, like, the mentality. So what do you uh, – Arizona won. Arizona won. I said Arizona was going <laughs> to win. Fuck Winnipeg. They did, and then they came to the abs. And that's why I said – Arizona is going to be a sleeper team. I should have included unless they were playing the Avalanche. Once they played the Avalanche, they were they were done. Yeah. But no, it's it's dude, it's sick. I'm just like what the yeah. Canucks are in, which is like crazy to me. And then the Islanders just shit on the Capitals, which is something I did not expect to see. But no, I I'm, I'm really enjoying it right now. I miss talking so much, man. It's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh yeah, I mean, and that's I mean, even for our own city, dude, the Avs are uh, looking a little promising. Oh, now I mean, after Game One with the Stars, that was kind of a little rough, but yeah, I I I hope Group Hours not hurt because <laughs> if Group Hours hurt, I think we're out. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. It's it, it's very it's very, the NHL of modern day is heavily based on how good your goalie is, and Frank Hughes is not or Frank Hose, whatever the whatever yeah, his name yeah. is. He's not, he's not a starting goalie, bro. Like for a playoff team, you know what I mean. So, if if Grubauer comes back, even if we're down like two one in the series, I we'll pull it back. But um, I don't know, man. It's tough. These injuries are not helping us very much. I think I, I think even even at that, the, the Abs are gonna still have a pretty good round at them. They'll right. Probably go to Game Six. Right, sure. right, right. Yeah, and it's that's <clears throat> it's it's tough with with hockey dude because it's one of those sports that it's like literally anything could happen oh yeah 
You know what I mean? Any oh, given moment. Yeah. Like, the entire series can change. I mean, like, it's different, like, with basketball because, I mean, it would, you know, the same the same state team. Yeah. Um, the Nuggets are pretty much done, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I put a fork <laughs> in it, dude. <laughs> like, Honestly, dude. But, like, the abs, I mean, I didn't catch the game on, uh, I think it was on Saturday. Did we win? The Avs game? Yeah. No, the Dallas is up 1-0 in the series. Oh, that was the first game? Okay, I thought there was a game before that. That's why. No, yeah. So that, that was, was game one. Game okay. Second of the whole second round, they played the first game. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, that's – it's like, you know, not well without a reach or anything like that. I mean, that's no. game one. So. Yeah. Um, but, you know, with the Nuggets, like I said, that's like game three five. One, yeah, 3-1, yeah, you're done, dude. I mean – It would be sick to watch them come back, but I yeah. don't think they will. No. Donovan Mitchell is – popping off <laughs> well and that's my thing is I, I people got mad because like i would i was i've been saying that since like since a while back i think even before the covid thing happened um i just thing. don't feel that denver's ready for that no, type of basketball either. either i don't think and like i i catch a lot of flack because a lot of nuggets fans will be like oh you're a hater and you don't you don't know what you're talking about and i'm like okay well prove me where i'm wrong i was told last year it was our year and oh yeah, yeah. Didn't pan out. You know what I mean? We lost year. to a team that we should have. We should have definitely had beaten. And then this year too. This year, Why you're they, losing to a team know. that you've seen the whole year, and you you can't figure it out. You know? They threw that last game against the Clippers, bro, so they can play Utah. And I'm like, why did you do that? Right. <laughs> you, we we could have been playing Dallas right now. Or something, right. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, Luke is sick, but I feel like that would have been a little bit more managed well, you're Maybe. playing against i mean that would be like you know the equivalence of like the broncos playing the raiders in the first round of the playoffs you don't know what the hell's gonna happen oh yeah. they they know they have oh, your card yeah. you know what I mean? they see you every year and they see you more than anybody else you know what i mean like that's Dude. i don't i mean i don't know uh, to me personally like i just i was kind of like under the mentality of like i don't think that that was uh that was the best opponent we could see. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, like Dude, that was the best choice we should make. I saw stats the other day, and they uh, apparently they beat them every game this year during like the regular season. Yeah, Utah. Um, I'm like, yeah, but you, you got to just play it all the way out, bro. You know right. what I mean? Like you play if you're playing for seeding, bro. Like you play you play to get the highest seeding. That's what right. it is. Right. You don't try to be fucking smart about it and be like, oh yeah, I'd rather play this fucking team. But right. Right. It's, right. It's like I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like I said, it's it, I mean, it's it's playoff basketball, you know. It's uh not something that I I feel that we were ready for. I mean, in my no. opinion, I just don't see it. I mean, I, man, and it, that's the thing is it's tough because like I mean, a lot of the cities like based on the mentality of like, oh yeah, the Nuggets are going to have a finals in the in the near future. And I'm like, I don't know about that, dude. Like I I really wholeheartedly feel like we need a vet here, but not anyone that's upper echelon wants to come here. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. I mean, for that one that one time period when Wade was going to leave uh, Miami, yeah, they were like, oh, yeah, we pulled him in for an interview. He's going to come here, and it looks like he's going to sign here. And I'm like, dude, he's not coming here. Yeah, no, he's, he's using us as leverage to get a bigger contract. 100%. <laughs> you know what I mean? 100%. Even, like, when Kawhi hit the market, they were like, oh, yeah, Kawhi's going to come here. And no I, I think the story way. was he never even <laughs> came out here. No. Like, we had an interview with him, and, like, it never even happened because he just was like, I'm not going. I mean, yeah, the Clippers and the Nuggets – if I got to choose between those two, so I'm going to the Clippers too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, that's, you know, when you don't have those big franchise mentality, you know, well, not the big franchise mentality, but like when you're like, you're not one of those upper echelon franchises where you can pay, you know, big oh, money yeah. for that. Like you oh, don't yeah. pull the big players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean, I mean, even the star players that we have, like I mean, a star. Yeah. Or, I mean, Jokic, Jokic, I'd say probably top 10 players right. in the league right now. That right. played this year, right? Uh, that's right. minus Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, obviously. But yeah, um, yeah. Even I mean, Jamal Murray dropped fifty points. So I mean, we have a good team. It's just I, I don't think the coach has this mentality that they need to have to be able to get there. <laughs> well, and you're also a big football guy. So oh yeah. Have I love you football. seen some stuff on training camp? Have you been uh, no kind of following? Mm-mm, nobody, it's not crazy, even the Broncos dude. or it's, the Steelers. Uh, I, I think I'm I'm really optimistic that it's I think that's gonna be the first sports season that kind of ushers us back into being normal. Really, I've gotten the vibe that I think it really could just kind of be okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not gonna now the fan thing is gonna be a little weird. Ooh, but I'm still not a fan of that. Yeah, it's but it's still it looks like it's gonna happen and it looks like it's gonna go through like as normal. Um, but um, 
as far as from a like a weird standpoint, I heard some rumors going around that they might they're considering doing a playoff in a bubble. They should. I don't know why they wouldn't. I don't. I don't know how I feel about really? that. Really? Yeah. I think they should. I think. Well, th- the reason why is because I'm like a traditional type NFL dude, where like I very much so like seeing the environments come playoff time because you see like certain playoff games where it's like nice, bright, and sunny, and then you see other playoff games and it's like snow and all Shit hard. Show. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just like, oh my god, <laughs> like, yeah. what the hell's happening? No, that's fair. I I, I mean, yeah. obviously nothing's normal right now though. So like, if we had to take one season of like. Yeah, just so I would we can think that the football. bubble would probably be if they did a bubble for the NFL playoffs. I would, I would prefer it to be at the Dallas Stadium. Yeah, Dallas would be nice because that I like that's Dallas. probably I think they have probably like the best like stadium as far as like it being uh it being like I don't know I would say like the the environment wise in yeah, terms of it like you, weather. You get what I'm trying to say? Like it's like it's probably like one of the more like well put together stadiums as oh, far 100%. as it being uh the like the appearance of it, you know? Yeah, no, that um, stadium's fucking I would say maybe the Vegas stadium too, but I haven't really seen inside the Whew. Vegas stadium, so I don't know how that, you that know, how that looks. That stadium is sick. I'm is sorry. It? Did you, not, not the inside. The, did you, have you seen the outside of that? Yeah. It looks yeah. fucking badass. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be hot though because it's all black. So it's right. just going to, yeah, you're taking in heat there, bud. <laughs> well, and that's my thing is like, I would think that it's either, it has to be in one or two places. It has to either be in Dallas or it has to be in Vegas, in my opinion. Because it's two hot, two of the hottest places. Oh yeah. I mean, it's so you're gonna have you know in the winter. I don't know how hot it really gets. I would imagine it's got to still be in the at least the 70s. So you're not really gonna have yeah, to deal with fair. the elements. Um, you know, and Vegas is one of the you know hot spots for sports betting stuff like that. So you think it that have would be to the most there. convenient place for it to be, in, in my opinion. But yeah. I don't know. I I, I it. it <laughs> As long as I get football, bro, I'm chilling. And, like, even with all the players opting out and shit, like, respect. I do respect it because, obviously, there's things more important than sports. At yeah, the end of right, the day. right. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think no fans, bro. Come on. What is up with this shit? Like, why do you want fans at your games, bro? Like, just do it like everybody else is doing. It right. works. <laughs> well, I think it's because football is probably one of those, like, takes you back to like the gladiator days oh yeah like yeah. where it's those like violent sports that like is different than all the rest yeah Cause, like i mean you got to think basketball is not really i i don't feel like basketball is one of those sports that requires like a huge crowd and you know something no. happens and the crowd's roaring and it's like no i, I don't get that feel like yeah. i mean even when i just play like basketball at the wreck or something it's like a basketball game of like something crazy happens when you're just playing with your friends yeah and like you're playing rec ball or whatever it's some other team um you still get that hype feeling when it's just nobody's even watching you yeah know what i mean whereas with football though i genuinely feel like when you see a crazy ass hit you automatically feel that like and i don't know if it's because i go to a lot of games or what the deal is but like yeah it just radiates like oh, yeah. from the from the field to the fans you feel that like energy you know oh, what yeah. i mean yeah and so it's gonna be kind of weird i think now i heard that they're gonna do like fake crowd noise and they're gonna try and pump in some sort of like stereo system to like <sighs> implement like that feeling but honestly dude there's just no way you can like mirror the feeling of it's third down and like you need this first down you're yeah. at your opponent's yeah. crib and you're like you can't like you know, you, you see it on TV all the time. Oh, like, yeah. You know, quarterbacks are in their helmet like, oh, I can't hear shit, but, well, okay, exactly, all right, yeah. cool. That's the play. All right, let's go. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And you just – you're like, oh, my God, here it goes. You know what I mean? But, like, yeah. I don't know how they implement that. Now, I know for – I mean, the myth is, like, you know, the Seahawks and the and the Kansas City Chiefs have been pumping in fake crowd noise for, for yeah. a long time. So I think some of those stadiums might not really – see a huge difference but i don't know how you know what's fair and what's not you know what i mean like is it fair to like get like the big ass like rigged stereo system where like (laughs) i mean you can't hear you can't hear shit it's it's so brutal bro like i'm just like uh i mean i get it because it's complicated but like at the end of the day bro like just go out and play like everybody else is just going out to play yeah and that's the thing is like that's kind of like that's kind of like some issues that are like kind of like you know spoiled you know what i mean like exactly some places aren't even getting sports back and it's like you know it's you know you're kind of like pinching at pennies at that point because then you just want a little more and a little more and a little more 
You know what I mean? Football players are so catty. They're the cattiest. Uh, next to soccer. Soccer players are the cattiest. But football players, bro, I swear. Like, they they always have to have something, bro. Like, they can't just go out there and play. Like, hockey players, there's never shit like that. There's not. Yeah. But it's always football. Whether it be fucking OBJ or well, it might, Antonio Brown or just some random motherfucker that's on yeah. the Tennessee Titans, dude. Well, like, and it's barring the same that thing. they're not playing the regular season for football in a bubble, I'm curious yeah. to see what the fan following is because you're going to have those fans that are going to be like, well, I can't go to the stadium, but I can stay outside the stadium. <laughs> you know what I mean? People like, are so weird, bro. I can go and tailgate outside of it as close as I possibly could that allows tailgating. You know what I mean? People are so weird. Like, why wouldn't you just get drunk at your house by yourself and, like, have your friends over, dude? Like, That's what I do. I just, exactly. Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> like, it's I'm way yawn, more convenient. I'm yawning at the TV screen from, from my house. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, exactly, I, I go to a decent amount of games, but I don't, I don't have, like, regular, you know, I'm not, like, a season ticket holder. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. go to every single game, but I just, I go to what I need, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, like, it, you're, you're going to be closer on the TV like watching yeah. wise, then you're gonna be outside. The I'm stadium. just honestly, dude, I'm so ready weird. for it to start, bro. Like, oh yeah, football is one of those sports, dude, where it just it it puts you. It really, it's kind of crazy to say it like that, but it really takes you away from reality for me. Like, oh, when I, you're watching, I, I get I get lost in the games, and just for like a good solid two hours on a Sunday, I'm just totally not even caring about what's going on with the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, Sundays are the best days when football season's on, for sure. Oh, especially it's actually with, something to look forward especially to. Especially with the politics and stuff now, dude. Fuck it's politics. Like, dude, I'm like, bro. I, I, really, <laughs> I was trying to watch YouTube the other day, and I'm seeing all these like Trump campaigns, and I'm like, bro, I really... like I hate to say it like that, because people are like, oh, you have to have an opinion. It's like, no, I really don't care right now. Yeah, because, fuck like, off. Because it is a shit show, and I really don't even care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I really don't. Like, yeah. And people get mad because they're like, well, if you're... If you're not voting, then you're voting for the other tech. Oh, I and I'm like, hate dude, that. I no, hate that. I am not. I am just genuinely, I don't give a rat's fucking ass. You know Bro, what I mean? That's like, what I'm saying, dude. And it's I like, don't care. You know what I mean? Like, it just, like, I'm not going to vote for one or the other because two are two jackasses. You know yeah, what I mean? they're both brutal. That's what I'm saying. Like, even, I, I think Colorado is one of those states you could kind of get away with it in because, I mean, yeah. with the electoral college and shit. Yeah. It's got, it, uh, the, the Democrats are going to win in Colorado, bro. There's right. places like fucking L.A. nowadays. Dude, yeah. have you seen Boulder? Yeah. It's just a whole bunch of fucking Democrat liberal people. Right. Which I'm not saying it's a bad thing necessarily, right. but um, like I said, I have yeah, no we're opinion. Yeah, state, yeah. I have no opinion. Yeah. I have no opinion. Don't come at me for this. Right. But you know what I mean? Like, it, like so if, we, if they win the majority vote, then whatever candidate's getting all those electoral college votes anyways, right. regardless of why do I need to go out and vote? You know what I mean? Right. Like, for the president, obviously, like – certain laws and shit right yeah that'd probably be a good use yeah but um i don't know man fuck politics i hate talking about politics oh, right. people get so wrapped well that's why out. i'm oh. like I, I really need sports <laughs> to pan out because i need to hear something else besides oh well this is what trump said this is what biden said and this is what the liberals said this is what cnn said this is what fox news said you know yeah, like, dude, i it's really so i don't annoying. i don't care dude i, I hate it i, I hate I've, it i've been i've been eligible to vote for i think the last would have been the last 18 term. since you were 18 yeah so five years so yeah i think that the hillary and the trump elections was the first year i could actually vote and that that's was probably that like was the biggest shit show i've ever seen i did not vote i didn't yeah, i didn't either fuck that yeah i'm like nope i don't like either candidate so I'm as good. i said i'm not going to contribute to <laughs> either one of these year, shit like, shows. people were like who are you voting for and i'm like um, dude voting, and dude. joe biden like yeah he was a chilling vice president bro like he was just chilling with president obama but oh, yeah for our generation he was the meme guy he was guy he's on the just memes. like a fucking. He's just an idiot. He's just an idiot. Like he just doesn't make sense. I'm oh, sorry, shit. Donald Trump's an idiot too. Yeah. So don't don't think I'm just calling him an idiot. Right. I think they're both fucking stupid. But right. That's politics. That dude. No more politics, bro. We can't. Right. Yeah. We I'm like, yeah. That's a whole rabbit hole, dude. It's, I'm like, but I, I just I think it's funny because like I, I've gotten some flack on on my podcasting. Uh, audience so to speak uh they're like you should talk some politics and i'm like you don't want me to talk politics dude <laughs> i mean i'm gonna make you i'm gonna piss you off from your house because i'm like i really don't have a care in the world for this nope. year if, maybe 2024 but not this year <laughs> you gotta go find like a person who's really into politics and then just let right. them just go off on a rant because me you ain't gonna catch me talk about this shit bro See, I'm no, no the way. positive <laughs> stuff i mean like yeah they're the, positive the, you know, like the Black Lives Matters movement, all that stuff. That's yes. awesome, dude. Like, I mean, Let's I go. love all that. Like, I love the fact that people are actually standing up for stuff. You know, I love that. 
Yes. He but was. I don't do the oh. whole election thing. It's because then it just turns into a finger pointing contest, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Which one of you are worse people? Right. <laughs> They're both pretty shit people, by the way. So. So barring that you make music. Yeah, yeah. Um, kind of switch gears on this. Thank God. Quick, yeah, we gotta get that one. <laughs> so, who? I actually had uh, asked this on a recent interview that I did. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you were to make a collab, and it was different because he kind of was like more into the. He didn't. He didn't really make music like, like a rapper, mm-hmm. you know. So this is kind of a different type of question. Um, who would you want to collaborate with? Like big names? Yeah, like you could pick anybody in the world. <sighs> Juice World's dead. Oh. Right. It would be Juice World if Juice World was alive. But other than that, honestly, just like with the vibe that I go for with my music, dude, yeah. that's tough, bro. I mean, now, I would... I'm gonna make it even tougher on you, and I'm gonna ask who would you want to produce the beat. So yeah, you got a triple threat on this one. Damn, he got away bro. with it because he could pick which rapper he liked, but you have to pick uh, which producer That's and artist tough. you like to collaborate with. I really like Rod Wave. I feel like me and Rod yeah. Wave would make like a banging song. Two two big dudes just spitting some heat. Like he'd yeah. just be singing and I'll just be going. That'd be hard. Yeah, I think I, honestly, bro. Like, and Rod Wave is not huge or anything like that. But I I really 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 like Rod Wave. Uh, but like, let, if I was trying to get the most popularity. <laughs> Then for your music, I, I'll, I'll I'll tell who who I think you would look great with. Really? But, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you finish. Go ahead. So you said Rod Wave for your Rod features. Wave, and then oh, a producer, man. Who would you want while I'm making that beat? I don't know. There's so many good producers out there, bro. I don't know if I can actually pick one of those because right. I would be grateful to take a beat from any one of those people. Yeah. Like any of the big names, bro. Like. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can't pick one. I can't pick one. I can't pick one. I'm sorry. I can't pick one. I can't pick one. <laughs> so the artist that I actually now he's deceased, uh, R.I.P. But um, the artist that I think you would sound like for your music that I think you would sound like f- fucking dope with is probably Mac Miller, dude. Mac Miller? Yeah, yeah I fuck. With I can Mac see Miller. it. Like you know, I I would see that total like that vibe music. Oh you yeah. Know what I mean, like yeah. Because, I mean, even Max, like, bar spitting, it wasn't super complex. No, it you know wasn't. What I mean? It wasn't like he was trying to, like, out-rap people. But it was just that he, he just made genuinely, like, good yeah. music to listen to. You right. know what I mean? Like, he knew what right. – yeah. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do, too. Like, yeah. I, I feel like I'm kind of lyrically inclined based oh, on the what fact about, that what if you were, you What if you and Mac Miller had, like, Kanye produce the beat? That'd be a, that'd be a trip. That'd be weird. That would be a <laughs> weird fucking song, but I'd be so down. <laughs> but it was Rest be in peace, like, Mac Miller, too. Right. <laughs> Like I honestly, bro, like all the rappers I really fuck with, like yeah, a lot are dead. Right. Like X was like my favorite rapper. Rest in peace. Juice after X died was like my yeah. favorite rapper. Rest in peace again. Mac Miller. I always like. It's not like I like fucked with his music heavily. Like every yeah. time he drops something, I'm like hell yeah. But well, like, see, I'm not a big Mac Miller fan either. Yeah. Like, even after he passed away, I know a lot of people hit the bandwagon train, and yeah. I I just wasn't like that. I was like, you know what, like. He was an awesome human being. And, oh, yeah. Um, I think the only project that I think I talked out before, too, that I actually really, I guess, fucked with, you know, mm-hmm. was uh, his uh, Macadelic mixtape. Macadelic was good. That was It was a good mixtape. And I think it was because it was just super, like, it was at that time era where mixtapes were really, like, popping. You know what I mean? Like, mixtapes were probably better than albums at that point. Yeah. No, that's fair. Chance was making al- or mixtapes around that time, too. So right. I think that's around the time Acid Rap was out um right. yeah no i mean mac miller he was just one of those dudes like i would listen to his stuff when it came out but like i wasn't like all about his shit you know what i mean like everybody vocally knew that i was like really with x really with juice like yeah. that was like what i was listening to the most like you have my car that's probably what i was playing you know what i mean right. even now right but i mean mac i would listen to his shit he's a very talented artist super good dude rest in peace again but yeah that's sick i would get oh mac miller i'm telling you do i got a knack for this thing man because be i mean just, i mean I'd ask anybody, you know, if they listen to your music, go look them up on SoundCloud. Yes. What is your SoundCloud, by the way? Just so I make sure I get that in there. Marky on Mars. M A R K I E on Mars. Bet. I don't. I think I might change it just to Marky Mars. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I got to figure it out before it gets on Spotify. And you shit, just got to make sure that uh, Mark Wahlberg doesn't get on that. Marky Mark. To Marky Mark. <laughs> Dude, exactly, bro. Like, I'm sitting here thinking of a rap name, and I'm like, huh. I can't do Marky Mark. I can't do Big Marky because that sounds too much like Biz Marky. Yeah. 
what am I gonna make my name? <laughs> I literally sat there, yeah. dude. We made we like had the song like already and shit. Yeah. And I'm texting my friends. I'm like, what should my rapper name be? I don't know. Should it just be Marky? That's yeah. not cool. <laughs> so Marky on Mars is what I settled with. I I, th- I actually really like that one, but Marky Mars kind of just sounds like. Yeah, mine was super simple, dude. What's yours? Saya. Saya, yeah. Just, Young Thugs days. Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was that was our say, old rap dude, group. I, I uh, Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, dude. So I found out our Facebook group still exists. What? We had yeah. a Facebook group? Yeah. And I, no I was way. going through the groups that I'm in, and I saw Young Thugs Entertainment, and I was like, what? We it still exist? We made that shit up before Young Thug was popping, by <laughs> yeah. the way. We were yeah, like. By the, yeah, by the way, this yeah. is before anyone even heard a track by that man. <laughs> like, I'm saying, bro. We, this was, this, we were like in oh, yeah, elementary we in school, B, middle dude. school around that age, yeah. bro. And we're. Uh, dude, I was just, I was tripping on how much I actually was like serious about that shit back then. Like, oh, I yeah. I was like, yeah, we're making mixed Me, you, and Makari. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Shout out Makari. <laughs> I used to write that full verses for him. I remember one time he were like, send both your guys' verses over. And I literally sat there and typed mine. Yeah. And then uh, Makari had no idea what he was doing. And yeah. I was like, oh, I'll just type one real quick. And you were like, yeah, that shit's so hard. And I was like, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome, Makari. Yeah. If you're watching this, you're welcome again, even though we didn't yeah. make it. <laughs> I, won't, I won't expose people, but it's a trip on the, the ghostwriting culture, dude. Oh. I've, had, I've had people that have asked me dude. to write verses, dude. I'm really? Like, yeah. Well, I, I don't understand that concept, bro. Like, if you're gonna make something, bro, like make it you. Like I, I mean, I guess to a certain extent. I mean, I guess maybe it's because the way that I look at music, but yeah. like it, if I'm gonna put something out, it's gonna be like genuinely what I feel. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna right. like yeah. There's like a couple lines in my songs that aren't a hundred percent true. Like I don't pop perks, but right. for the most part, every line that's in my songs is like something that I genuinely felt. The perks kind of just right. worked. So, oh, dude, you know one I mean? of the funniest artists that I mean, I don't listen to his music regularly. I don't even know an album by him, but I like when uh like that dude Bizarre that makes Bizarre. music with Eminem all the time. I don't know. No, he's honestly. like the craziest fucker out there. Really? Yeah, like he's talking some. It, it, his older stuff is like his older features with Eminem is like crazy. He's like talking about like um not things that you should talk about, like murdering people or raping people. Yeah, raping well, people. Both. Oh. Dude, that sounds like oh, Brother like, Lynch Hung. Have you yeah. heard of him? Yeah, I remember him. The Tech Knight. Dude, he literally has like a song. That, is that the dude that like got arrested for cannibal or something like that? I'm pretty sure because he literally had a song where he's talking about like yeah. putting hot sauce on people and then eating them. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, right. this shit's weird. <laughs> yeah. Someone, someone, I don't know if it was that guy. I apologize if it's not. But uh, there was a guy that got arrested for that. He was a rapper. I didn't know who he was. I don't he know. Got, like he got like yeah he got arrested for murder and then if I look like, up Brother Lynch Hung he's probably in jail. I mean uh, shit sorry dude like <laughs> never mind that is, <laughs> not true not true not true. Yeah, he no, just comes I don't know. after I, me. It could be I don't know but yeah no but I get what you mean. Yeah yeah that 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 genre of music is like pretty. Crazy. It's weird that I I don't know. It's just music in general it's it's a it's a weird concept but it's super fun. I love it. Oh yeah. Well, and see, I mean, you know me for years. I mean, oh I mean, yeah, I, I'm super edgy. Yeah, I, I mean, I got I got some people that were all offended by my take on WAP, and I was like, bro, WAP, come yeah, on, bro, was, that song was fucking trash. Yo, you didn't like it? No, the way it sounded. No, uh, I don't know. I like the sample. Did you? Yeah. It's not like trash, like where I'm like, whatever they're talking about is like yeah. terrible. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I could give a shit if you're talking about your wet ass pussy, I could care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dudes talk about getting their dick sucked and yeah, blah, all the time. Blah. Yeah. It's a double standard at that point. But yeah. I just didn't think like, it's not something you would see me like rolling so, yeah, around playing pretty... in my car. You, you know what see, I mean? See, and I don't, I don't, I don't bump it like in my free time. Yes. It was one of those, like I listened to it and I did not not like it, you know? Yeah. It's not like, like I, I thought I it. was like, Oh, that was kind of funny and cool. Like that was me. Now, you know, I'm not, they didn't end up in my playlist. <laughs> yeah. See, <laughs> like, see, when I say something's like not, good it's yeah. it means like i won't personally play it you know what i mean and like, even- honestly like i my mentality towards it is i love when people react to it but, like i love like i oh, when i'm, I'm hearing it and somebody's like that's offensive yeah like, it's you like know, simmer down brothers-esque you know yeah like that's brandon that's offensive i don't say that <laughs> no yeah i feel that that's but even like even cardi b bro i think she like if i'm being honest i think she genuinely makes like not maybe not good music necessarily, but yeah. like like kind of like the stuff that like I can see the appeal to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I could see why people listen to it. It's not for me yeah. by any means, but like she's making fucking hell. Of, like even six nine, bro. Like, fuck that guy. Yeah, Rat. I know. We, I, we yeah, I can't relate. 
but, but like yeah, back between, in the day yeah. before his rat era you know yeah. what i mean like he was making music and that shit is not good <laughs> see and it's weird because like based on the way i like edgy music and i i, I don't like the trolling culture so much yeah. but i do like a little trolling i like when people just piss people off yeah yeah i couldn't get on 69 dude yeah he's like, he, he didn't like like i said his music i'm going to say his music's not good but I, yeah, could see I think the it was his appearance. To it. It, 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 he was totally just a big publicity stunt, bro. Like yeah. he knew what to do. He knew what he had to do to sell music. He literally like put, said on interviews and shit. Like I just go in the studio, spit random shit. I know it's gonna pop because of what I'm doing outside of music. You know what I mean? Right. Like that's that's what it is. He looks crazy. He's got fucking rainbow hair, six nine tattooed all over his face. Like, you know well, what I mean? Yeah. And I think it was. I don't know. I don't know if maybe it's just because I just didn't. I, I don't know. I really don't know why. Like, and it's really weird because, like, his his lyrics aren't, like, super, like, they're not, well, I don't know. Maybe they are stupid. I don't know. They're pretty fucking stupid. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, song? you know, I think it's just, uh, some trolls are just not for me. He you know just, what I mean? Like, he just makes some people make it a little time. too far-fetched, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. okay, you know, like, I think that was kind of the wave on why I didn't like Young Thug for a little while there, because oh, I love Thug. the way, see, people know Young Thug for his own personal music. I yeah. know Young Thug because I thought he was like a rip-off Lil Wayne. Like he was oh, trying okay. so hard to be Lil Wayne at that really? time. Really? Yeah, I felt like that. That's fair. I mean, well, I, I mean, they were beefing that, but... at one point because yeah. that's kind of how he viewed it. And he was even trolling Lil Wayne and like, I think he was going to name one of his art projects like the Carter or like he... So wasn't it like something like that? Like he was probably. I don't really remember because he was like or... rocking with Birdman, and that was when Little Wayne and him weren't getting along. And oh, yeah. I do remember that now. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, I don't know. When like, it was before, I kind of was appreciating the new wave of artists. I kind of got yeah. a new mindset where I had to like really open up to it. You yeah, because I, mean? I, I know you were on Eminem for a long time, and I was like, "Sai, yeah. you got to start pumping something new, right. bro." <laughs> right. Well, and that's the thing is like people get all offended on social media because I'm like really critiquing him a lot. M, yeah, no, he deserves like, it, bro. Yeah, I'm just like, dude, like you got to switch it up, man. I mean, like or just I, stop. I, well, yeah, that's the other part of it is like, I mean, I think right now if M were to retire. Now, yeah. I'm one of those dudes that I if I hear M's dropping and I know that there's a release date on it, I yeah. am waiting till 10 o'clock at night to hear it. I respect, yeah. But to an extent, like I don't, I'm not really, I don't really like the beat choice so much. This no. last album was better, oh, but I, uh, I haven't been a fan of his beat choice since prior relapse. I like Godzilla's beat. Godzilla's yeah. beat is good with Juice World on it, but yeah. I don't know if I, I just like that song because Juice World's on it. No, but right. like, I don't know, man. Like, M has like his own little lane, bro, that he kind of, kind of just took off and that's his lane, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? And like, that's just not the wave anymore, bro. Like right. people are your fucking lanes all the way to the right and everybody else is just looking straight on at the well yeah shit, you me, know and, what I mean? uh, me and this this dude that i i interviewed before uh we were talking about it and i was just we we're talking some part of that music that beef that he had with mgk yeah but it's like dude like if you really you really feel the need to beef with people over that I and mean, even in the diss track that mgk put out in uh rap devil oh yeah he was like dude you're already the goat like, yeah, I, I don't even need to try and say why I'm better than you because I know I'm not. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, but like when you get to that point, you, why even be with people? You know what I mean? Exactly, like, bro. Like, ah, oh, man. I liked it though because th yeah. both the tracks that came out, I thought they were both like pretty good. Yeah. I mean, honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was a good. That was a good summer for hip hop. It was. It was. It, it was just and, like what? I mean, I cared more for the not alike this than I did. Uh, Which than, one's not alike? That was the one that was on Kamikaze. Oh okay okay yeah yeah. yeah. I didn't listen to that album. I'm be honest. No, with yeah, you. I was gonna say, I, I, and I only listen to it because I, I, I like beefs, like we were talking yeah. about before. Yeah. Like I'm very much one of those dudes that I'm like, uh, yeah, I can, I can go for a good beef. Did you I hear know. Fifty Cent and uh, Rick Ross are going back at it? Uh, Fifty Cent. I feel like Fifty Cent's always going at it with somebody. <laughs> I know. I don't really keep up with Fifty Cent, bro. <laughs> Stick to Candy Shop and piano. I need diss tracks, bro. Like I need diss tracks, like. I I because right. their whole oh, beef man. is like legal stuff. It's like lawsuits and oh like, really? Yeah, it's like stupid stuff. No, I like Fifty. Like, they're doing petty like... shit to each other. So I guess like Fifty took him to court for like for in the club remix. Like, oh bro, really? that shit came out like a long ass time ago. Yeah, you guys are still crying. I mean, yeah, I mean like you're still beefing <sighs> over that. I mean, at least send a diss track at each other. Let make it yeah. interesting. You know what I, I mean? Know. It's just like uh, I don't know the beat. I I get it though to a certain extent. I yeah. guess I don't know the whole story, but. 50's just, I feel like 50's always just beefing with somebody. I remember when he was beefing with Floyd Mayweather, and I was dying when he's like, I pay 
so much money if you could read one page from Harry Potter. <laughs> and everyone's like, we know Floyd Mayweather cannot read one page out of Harry Potter, <laughs> if we're being honest. We all know that's not true. So, okay, so my question for you could kind of, you know, this is an interview. Yeah, yeah. We kind of get into these fun topics because we're really in sync like that. Yeah. But, uh, so, if you, because you, you know, you're telling me that mm-hmm. uh, you uh, you plan on doing an EP, right? Yeah. So, what do you kind of, you think your vision is for that? You mm, got, just like an overall it? concept? Well, concept, and I think, like, you know, do you have, like, a name for it yet, or is it still kind of in the... No, like draft stages. I'm just like it's 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 gonna be weird because like like I said I don't have like a dis like a discography yet. Right. You know what I mean? Like too much. I I literally have two songs. But yeah. Um, what I was thinking is just like you know I mean just kind of making music similar to what that was, or just like taking those tracks and remastering them that are already on SoundCloud and like getting them actually engineered and. You yeah. know, to make them sound professional and putting those on there and then mm-hmm. putting those on Spotify and shit. Um, but no, honestly, dude, like I just make super sad stuff. It's just super sad. <laughs> right. It's probably just going to be some more super sad stuff. Yeah. If I'm being honest with you. But like, it's real life. That's what it, I'm trying to like get across in the music. You know what I mean? We should, we got, we got to make a funny track here soon. A funny track? I'd be down. Like, that'd be kind of. I just kind of brainstorm it on the air because, you know, yeah. that's kind of what we do here. <laughs> I, I mean, shit, oh. I'm down. That, that'd be funny as shit to do like a, you know, like a sad track and then like, kind of like, why are we sad? Yeah, at the end of the verse, you know. Why are we sad though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good. I like, I like creativity, shit, dude. I don't know. I I, I guess it's just like, but I don't why know. Why are we sad? Yeah, that's fun. I like that. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 Honestly, bro. Like, so I was even with the EP. Sorry yeah. to come back to that because hey, yeah. my brain just came back. Yeah. I literally have like, so I have. I love my life. Drowning. Um, this next one that's coming out that that one's kind of like a uh, little sneak peek. It's kind of yeah. like a a storytelling yeah um thing of just like all the bad shit that went on in my life. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna put that into a song. Um, it's dope. I like it. Yeah. Uh, from from the people that I showed it to so far, they really like it, and they're like, dude, like this is some deep ass shit, bro. Like yeah. you're putting this out to the world, and I'm like, yeah, dude, fuck it. You know what I mean? People always ask me to talk about my feelings and stuff, and I'll be like, yo, just go listen to the song, bro, and then you'll know what you need to know about me, why right. I'm sad. <laughs> right, right. And then the other one is uh, about falling out of love with somebody. Yeah. So that's five. Dude, that shit sucks. That one, that gonna, one's tough. So is it going to be like an entanglement type track? or? No, it's no. it's like like literally like you like fall in love with somebody, and you're, you know like when you fall in love with somebody and like you're just like infatuated with them? Yeah. And then, like, you don't mean to fall out of love with somebody, but, like, yeah, you do. Just, yeah. It just, it just happens. You know yeah. what I mean? And it, and it sucks. Right. Because you're like, damn, I used to have, like, I still have love for that person, but. Um, At some point in time, I think it just becomes like your. I mean, it's kind of like super, like, up there, but, like, your spirits just kind of don't. Exactly. Mix. Yeah. Like, you know I mean? remember the first time I ever met this, this one girl, will not yeah. be named, but I met her and I was like, dude, I. It was like that, bro. Yeah. I was like, I'm fucking whoa you like, right you're actually right. like different you know what i mean like as much as as stupid as that fucking sounds because dudes always use that line but yeah you know what i mean and then like over the years and shit bro and i was like in love with her in love with her and then i like i think about her now and i'm just like i just don't feel like the same way about you anymore you know what i mean yeah. i love her she's still my friend but i just don't have like that kind of thought process about it anymore. right you know what right I mean? you don't view that person as like your like your soulmate you know what i mean like it yeah it, you, you, it deteriorates to like you know what like you're still a dope ass human being yes and like i i'm totally cool with just being friends yeah and, and, but it you know sucks I mean? at the end of the day you know right what I mean? yeah it just sucks like, because you want to it's it's hard to make that spark oh yeah again you know what i mean yeah. like especially when you've already gone through that like that spark before it's mm-hmm. hard to like you know for it to click again oh yeah you know what i mean yeah. It's, it's difficult and you yeah, just wanted it to mean. work and then it just doesn't work and you're like fuck so if you ever felt like that <laughs> listen to this track be, yeah. be waiting for the ep <laughs> bro because that's just about a slap i have a fucking banging chorus for that shit already yeah uh I, I don't know dude even on my own accord dude i still i have the motivation to write i have the motivation to hop on tracks yeah i don't have the motivation to put something out yet see it, that's that's that it that's the part that's hard man is like genuinely getting into it at the beginning because like i said dude i sat on that track for almost two years bro well and it was like a I, year and I, I have that 
it's kind of like a hip hop reference, but I have that Dr. Dre mentality. Yeah. I refuse to put something out if I'm not feeling it. it that's what I'm saying, bro. I don't put shit out just to put shit out. I'm saying, bro. You know what I mean? Like, like I can't. You know what I mean? And I honestly, oh, like, yeah. I don't even think I have any recordings to even really, you know, go back to. I have a couple, like, freestyle videos from, like, high school. But yeah. it's like, I never really did the studio thing because I that was how much genuinely I don't want to put something out because it's not, like... I just can't feel it. You know, if yeah. I'm not feeling it, I'm not putting it out. Yeah, see, that's... You know what I mean? Uh, and that's... I, I feel like that's one of the harder things, even just, like, the little bit of time I've been doing this. Yeah. It's, like, you always want to try to be so much different than everybody else, and, it like, it's... There's so much music out there, bro. At the end of the day, it's impossible. And you want your tracks to be perfect. Yeah. And at the end of the day, bro, they're not going to be perfect. But right. I like what I put out, and I, I hope that other people... And you're... you know, At the end of the day, bro, you're your own biggest critic. You know what I mean? Right. If if somebody came up to me and said, dude, I didn't like your song, I'd be like, thank That's you, cool. bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like at least you're saying something to me yeah. other than like, yeah, that shit was fucking like, that should be on the radio and shit. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I know it's not that good. You know right. what I mean? But right. maybe, maybe it is good, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, you're your own biggest critic. And I'm very critical about myself and well, very critical and of everything for the longest I put out time, there. Like I was saying before it, uh, I, I couldn't figure out how to get something I wrote yeah to put into a song yeah you know what i mean because like i then at that point like i know it's like i feel like i'm reading you know what i mean like i feel like i'm not even like hip you know doing the whole rapper thing oh yeah and i like when i feel like i'm in a good element yeah you know? so if you, especially when you try still trying to figure out how to make music mm. it's it's different you know what i mean it's hard to really go that route because you're still trying to figure out who you are as an artist and your routine and what works for you and what yeah. fundamentals you want to use and all that kind of stuff. You know, the beat selection, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, man. That, it, it's super I'm tough, definitely bro. excited for it. I mean, yeah. I, I am. I am yeah, it's fun, to dude. Do you have kind of like a like a release date in mind or are you still kind of still working on it? Uh, For the next song or the EP? Just the EP. Yeah. Oh, man. So th this next song I'm hoping to get out by the end of September. Yeah. And then once that goes into place... um. That's when I think I'm going to start. I got to just honestly at this point just build up some money so I can be able to make genuinely good shit that sounds professional. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, but hopefully I'm going to say spring. By spring, it'll be 2021. Out. 2021. Yeah. It'll okay. be out. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, right. No, yeah, that's just, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> but idea. a rough yeah. ideal, I, I mean, ideally, I'd like to have it out by the end of the year. Yeah. But I know I, I'd that's rather tough. Yeah. I'd rather have, like, stuff that I'm genuinely confident in that I think is good. And I've had the time to, like, well, work with it. And, you know, unfortunately, the boogeyman kind of puts us artists that are not, like, you know, have record labels in our basement. Oh, yeah. Um, on hold because, you know, you end up in a situation where COVID kind of you know takes over and unfortunately i mean that was that was an issue that a lot of producers just saw um when it happened oh yeah you can't get people in the studio yeah there's just a lot of shit that happens oh yeah you know? and that sucks because you know for underground artists like us it's mm -hmm. uh it's tough to put music out you know I, oh 100 percent. like i said if, if i don't have christian bro like i don't oh yeah right i don't know what i do shout out to christian yeah dude, it's 100 percent, bro i would not be doing this music shit without yeah. him ash that's his tag a yeah. dollar sign h yeah I gotta, I gotta get him in the studio here soon. Dude, he's good, I felt bro. So bad. He's very talented. I fuck with him a lot. Well, I felt bad because like I, I, I've talked to Christian a handful of times since we've been doing this podcasting thing, and I've been meaning to get him in. Yeah. So uh, let him know. Yeah, I got you. Uh, that yeah. I uh, plan to get him in here soon. Yeah, he's working a lot, so you guys would have to like 100 percent like figure out like a day time. Right. 100. Like, percent And then you guys gotta line up with right. uh, Darian as well. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. That would be a tough one, I'll be honest. Yeah, he's yeah. the other one, the man behind the screen that I got to get in here soon. I got to get my boy Darian in here. Stream Hellbound. Yeah. Stream it everywhere. That shit's fucking fire, bro. Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, it's uh, – I can't wait for that interview. It's uh, going to be fun. Honestly, bro, that's who needs to be out here doing yeah. this shit because – that kid we're, yeah, we're we're getting it. We're kind of figuring out how to do it because we. Uh, yeah. He is the guy behind the screen that does our production and stuff like that. So we got to kind of find someone to substitute that day. And do it for us so we can get on the mic. Imagine and... I'm just back and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's like, all right, let's go play it back. Plays it back. There's no audio. <laughs> you guys recorded an hour for nothing. <laughs> Welcome. All right. Well, that was our test run. <laughs> Have fun. Now do the real one. Now do the real one. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. No, honestly, bro, Darian is fucking insane. Christian 
is sick. Dude, our whole family, dude. Is They're very trip, music. Bro. I even saw Monty's doing shit, too. Yeah. He's making beats. Toby's fucking unreal yeah. with the beat shit, bro. I respect everybody that's doing this music shit, right. bro. Cause it's crazy, man. It's... That's fucking cool, man. I like I like yeah. just the creativity that everybody's kind of bringing out. You know what I mean? One so. of these days, one of these days in the next, with the, I'm calling it right now. Within the next ten years, we're all doing a we're all doing a, a collaboration together. A family a reunion. Collabor- a collaborative a collab. a collaborative album. <laughs> Ghost Kid times Marky on Mars times <laughs> Saya produced by Authentic and Ash <laughs> and everybody else. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what Monty goes by, so I didn't. Yeah, I don't but know. Monty yeah. too. Yeah, Monty's on there. Yeah, that'd be um, sick, dude. That'd be crazy. That'd be fucking be dope. Fun, you know. <laughs> I don't know how we'd clash because I know me and Darren There's, have a very well, kind of different. Yeah, style, I was gonna say it would be the most unorthodox album ever. It would be very unorthodox because there's so many different styles that would come to yeah, that. Yeah, Darren's you know Darren's I mean? style is very, very different than everything else. I love it there. though, dude. I I love I love uh, hashtag Ghost Kids. Um, oh yeah, vision. yeah, I, I love it. I love I, like how I was. The, I finally got into listening to his whole discography, mm-hmm. and it's just so different. You know, oh, yeah. like it's so yep. like unique. Like Hellbound was like, it's it's different than all the rest of stuff. Dude, hundred percent. I know yeah. it sounds similar. Like it's so, I, people because I I've, I've asked people like, hey, what do you think of my cousin? And they're like, oh, it kind of sounds similar. And I'm like, but you really gotta listen to it because it doesn't. You know, yeah, what I mean? like, no, it, he he has his very like he found his niche, bro, and like. It's very different than anything well, else. Well, it's like when people there, say you know that Kendrick I mean? Lamar's makes similar stuff. I'm like, you really doesn't. No, he know. doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure, he sounds the same on every album, but it's not like it. Every it's different. You oh know yeah, I mean? it's so unique. No, yeah, and that's why I have like a value for it. And I like on, I think on episode two, go check that one out. That was a fun one too. Um, but I talked that. I, I was like, you know, Halbound was super. Uh, it, it caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie. And dude, yeah, I, I was just, honestly expecting it, bro. Like yeah. I was listening to his shit. Like I remember, I, I don't remember what the first song I listened to was, yeah. but I think it was even when he was doing scrolls. Yeah. I, I think that's how you say it. Yeah. It was like the S K R. Yeah. 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 V L L C. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was even listening to that shit and that shit was fu- like, yeah. I was like, damn, Darian, what the right. fuck dude? I saw it on Facebook. I was right. like, I knew he was like all about his music shit, but we, we hadn't talked for fucking years, bro. And I was like, looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? Right. And then I listened to 4am probably still my favorite song yeah. by yeah. him that song is so fucking good i yeah. love that song and then jade came out on like streaming platforms other than soundcloud and i was like let's fucking go d and then ghost yeah. ba- or uh hellbound and then he had that collab album with uh i forgot what his name is but that album is fucking good too did you listen to that one it's Which a, one? it's it's this collab album with uh oh, i forgot what his name is oh man i'm, I'm sorry other yeah, person ty moon ty moon Ty Moon, yeah, yeah. shit was fire. Esperatu or whatever the fuck yeah, that that yeah. song is a banger, bro. I yeah. fuck with that song so hard. It's crazy, dude. It's a trip, man. I, saying, I, I wish I wish Denver's platform had had a higher ceiling. And that's that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? And that it, it, it kind of sucks coming from here because Denver, in Colorado in general, bro. Like it's it's not known for its music scene. You know what I mean? You hear about Chicago and Atlanta yeah. and yeah, fucking New York and Cali, but. Colorado don't really have like that kind of. Now, now the the mentality towards Denver's music is, I I've actually viewed it the same way that you're you're saying it now. Mm-hmm. But I've actually kind of thought about it in a different way now. I'm like, you know, honestly, it could be easier in the aspect of someone's got to take the crown. You know what I mean? Someone someone's got to put us on the map, and I think that first person that does it is uh is gonna just you know blow up yeah and, and then, it'll, and then it'll create else that up. flood of other artists coming out exactly yeah you know what I mean? once you once your city starts getting looked at that's from from my understanding of it yeah. it's kind of like when other people get that coming yeah we too, got you know some I mean? guys that are that are making moves up there yeah but, no there's, uh, a, there's a couple people it never really it doesn't rub me off as anybody that like i feel like has that potential though. that could go mainstream yeah like i i, I honestly I'm, I'm way i fully believe fully believe that ghost kid's gonna do it to My be opinion. the one to put Colorado on map. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I mean, because I listen to other people. too. I listen to other projects, and I feel that it's missing that pizzazz. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's missing that like authenticity. Yeah, you know I mean, like I hear yeah. other artists, and they sound too much like they're trying to be like other people. Yeah, you know. But like, I love when I see artists from Denver that are like super unique to themselves, and they're not exactly, trying to sound like yeah. everybody else. Yeah, that's and you know what I mean? that's that's 
I mean, that, that I think that's the biggest like difficulty when it comes to making music is like you don't want to sound like anybody else. Yeah. But it's so hard just because of how much different shit is already out there, and then you're gonna right. cut yourself into a corner and right. be mad at yourself because you're not making stuff that's exactly like so unique. You know what I mean? But right. Darian's doing a really good job about it, honestly, bro. Like it's 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 fucking crazy, bro. Like I'm just like yeah, I respect it. Right. Right. So. I uh I asked this question. It's actually gonna become my favorite question. I think it's gonna be the the official bars of chains question on my interviews. Mm-hmm. It's super fun. Um, so the question is, if you were to have to pick an animal mm-hmm. to ride into battle, what would you pick? It's gotta be a big fucking animal. I'm a big <laughs> ass dude. I ain't riding no fucking horse. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Um, I'll probably I'll probably ride a horse. It could be Maybe animal. like an elephant, dude. Yeah? Elephant would be sick. Yeah. That thing's fucking huge, and it just stomps right. on motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do it. Yeah? Elephant. So, my animal would be, uh, it would definitely be a uh, ostrich. <laughs> You're flying, dude. Yeah, I mean, to be Not fair, flying, true. actual flying, yeah. but like, I'd be pff, right through it. That's Take a machine true. gun out. Brr, brr. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, like, true. It kind of I mean, depends I'll on be out of the battlefield before yeah. it actually gets heated. That kind <laughs> you know of I mean? that I didn't understand. I don't know, like what kind of battle are we talking about? Like a war, like between animals and people. I would say it has to be at least like kind of ground attack. Like it can't be like you know. Am I fighting animals or people? People. Oh, maybe not an elephant. Yeah, oh. I was gonna say that'd be tough because it doesn't really move fast. I ain't getting on ostrich though, bro. I'll tell you. Well, I'd be yeah. I'd, Throw a saddle on that thing, and I'm. Oh, I'm you. big though, bro. So I ain't fitting on an ostrich. <laughs> but maybe like a, maybe like a grizzly bear or something like that'd be chill. Yeah. I'm just hanging out of the fur. That'd be sick. Those yeah. things are fucking massive too, and they're kind of fast. Right. Oh yeah, dude. Grizzly bear going down a hill, dude. Yeah. So am I getting shot at while I'm on this animal? Is that what's happening? See, I yeah, I I have to kind of like revise the question because <laughs> like there's those factors that come to it that's like uh well. Like, am I catching spears, bow and arrows, right. or bullets? Right, right, Yeah, that's it's tough because, I mean, you know, what's the agenda? Is there, like, a, you know, capture the flag type deal? Exactly. Or, you know, or if I'm just trying to mob away. See, and my mentality is, like, I think if I were going to go in a battle like that, I think my mentality is, like, uh, you know, I'm just trying to not get hit, go through, wipe out a bunch of people, and then, like, you know, That'd be, be at the end of the battlefield to where I didn't even you just get got like two ARs on each side. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a drive by, a double drive by. Right. But on an ostrich. But on an ostrich. <laughs> that's some that's some hood ass shit if I've ever heard it. That's gangster, bro. What the fuck? Right. You imagine somebody's riding through the hood, they're about to do a drive by on an ostrich oh, or man. like on a horse or that's some the, shit. That'd, that'd be, be the crazy. Flex ever. <laughs> that's like the Dubai bop, shit. Bop, bop. Giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> What would you name an ostrich? You'd have to be like Larry. Yeah, Larry the ostrich. Oliver. Yeah, Oliver there. Nah, I don't know. What would you name an ostrich? I think I would for for a war setting. I think I would name it. Uh, I think gung ho. Gung ho. Or like, that's cool. You know, like uh, I don't know. Akimbo. Yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. There we go. <laughs> Make a song about Akimbo the Ostrich next. Might as well. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. I, I, it's, I don't know. I like fun questions like that. I do, too. I like that. Now, uh, now that I'm really thinking about it, elephant's probably not the best go. No. I'm going with the grizzly bear. No, and I, I, don't, I don't even like critiquing people on their answer, but I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you totally get wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Just one fucking bow and arrow to the, the chest and I'm falling off the elephant I'll tell you what yeah so am I getting shot by bullets or am I getting shot by bow and arrows I would think arrows would have to be the fair way to go about it because I mean I think getting killed off an elephant like with a gun is pretty easy to do exactly especially with a sniper I mean that yeah, is just picking you off teamed. at that point Unless even the, with my I don't know if someone like a sniper could pick me off with that ostrich though that thing's moving at least 65 miles per hour or I don't know how, how fast do you think an ostrich is it's pretty fucking fast it's gotta be fast it's, like the, it's the fastest bird right it's one of the fastest land mammals, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Well, I mean, the cheetah goes, like, pretty quick, too, right? I think. It's like, I think they're, like, 60, 70, 80. I don't know. I'm being I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I've been watching I didn't a read lot phonics. of anim- Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were those old, those old books? Animal Zone or whatever. Animal yeah. books. Yeah. And they'd get delivered to your house. I used to have those. Right. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a... Uh, 
It's a trip. I love animals. Well, um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's a, it's a trip on, like the just the animal kingdom. Yeah, but I've been watching a lot of uh, like documentaries or not documentaries necessarily, but I've been yeah. watching on YouTube. I've been watching a lot of animals fighting each other. Have you ever seen giraffes fight each other? Uh, yeah, don't they hit each other with the necks? Dude, they, they swing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> They're swinging <laughs> their necks. They're just headbutting, and I'm like, what? Yeah. Hello? Does that not hurt, bro? Like, I saw a hippo and a lion fight the other day, yeah. and the lion's whole jaw got broken. It's so sad. Yeah. His whole jaw's broken, and it's just like hanging there. And I'm like, damn, bro, this is sad as shit. Yeah. If I'm watching that, that's about all I know about animals is how they fight. So, uh, what was I gonna ask you? Um, so as far as like, I don't know. I mean, I know your like primary sport is hockey. But uh, has mm-hmm. your has your opinion changed on who you think is running away with the finals for the NBA? The NBA, yeah. um, I mean, in the West, probably the Lakers still, because Lakers are just. You think it's like pretty James. much like I mean, almost not not necessarily set in stone, but it's pretty, no, I, mean, I don't think set in stone. the The West is very competitive. Yeah, the East is not. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that. I mean, the Nuggets were determined to probably go to the Western Conference Finals. Oh yeah, about it, and Utah's about to go good first round. Portland's good. Yeah. Dallas is now, good. Now, see, I think that the Clippers are going to essentially wipe the floor with the Utah, though. At the, at the Kawhi, next round? Yeah, I think Kawhi is too much for them to handle. Who are the Clippers playing? Right now? Dallas? Dallas, yeah. Are, are they up in the series? I thought it was 2 on Dallas. Yeah, no, I think it's... Might be 2 know, on Dallas. That's a question. I was um, going to say, you might want to look that up. And then in, in the in the East, uh, definitely the Bucks. Oh yeah, the Bucks are gonna. Keep yeah, the the West is kind of where it. I was watching the Heat series a little bit. I thought there was some potential there, but I don't know. It just seems kind of. I don't even know. Jimmy Butler is like the only like one I could see helping with that, but I mean, he just. I don't think he's ready to take on Giannis like that. Yeah, I haven't really watched any of the East games. I've mostly been just focusing on the West. Yeah. What, what what game was I looking up? Oh, Mavericks Clippers. Oh, it's it's tied two to two actually. Yeah, yeah. I thought they were already at game four by now. Yeah. But I, like I said, one. still, I think the Clippers are going to – they'll probably win the next two games, close it out in six. <clears throat> Better than us. Really? Close you it think out. they will? Yeah. I don't know. Luka's kind of stinky. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we're probably going to close – well, we're going to get closed out in six. Oh, no, yeah. The late the, the Nuggets are losing. <laughs> yeah, it's done. But the Mavericks – did you see Luka's buzzer reader? Yeah, I heard about it. Could you imagine if there was a fucking cr- a crowd there? Oh, yeah. Oh, it would have went crazy. Oh, it would have went crazy. Oh, everyone <laughs> at their house is going crazy. At my, at my house, we were going crazy. It's like, what? And it's not even a team that you vote for it or, like, yeah. root for it anyways. It's just fucking like, what? Right, right. That's crazy. Well, and I missed the highlight. I was doing something upstairs when the game was going on. Yeah. And I just heard everyone downstairs going, oh, my God. And I'm oh like, oh, my God. What the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was insane. That shit was fucking dope. Shout out, Luca. I actually am like cool with sports lately, dude. Like it's been fun. No, you know? yeah, it has it's been. been. A blast. It's actually been like super competitive too. Even hockey, bro. Like, it's like, yeah. Playoff hockey is always very competitive from the the years yeah. that I've watched it. But that like this year, it's like everybody's getting fucking hurt. Everybody's fighting each other all the time. I'm like, yeah. let's go. Get into your head in the game. <laughs> <laughs> um. So it's a little off topic from our usual uh, bars and bars and chains. You yeah. Know, our uh, music and sports. Um. But it's shout out to my guys that are doing their podcast, Ladeer and all those dudes that do like a they do their superheroes podcast. Nice. Uh, do you uh, see uh, the Batman teaser? I did not. Is so it the DC you know, stuff? It's the guy that played uh, in Twilight. I heard he's, he's Batman. I heard he's bi. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I just know. saw that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he dude, he is like arguably probably the worst Batman I've ever seen. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I can't like, but it's because he's too small. He's like kind of like that skinny Batman. He's short. I don't know. He kind of looks taller. But honestly, dude, like I was just looking. It's looking guy at from the... Twilight. Yeah, it's like, I think it's the guy that played oh, Edward. Oh, oh, oh. Pattinson. Uh, oh, I forgot his fucking name. Yeah. Yeah, it's Pat. I don't know his first name, but it's Pattinson is his last name. Dude, oh, I, it might be actually the worst Batman I've ever seen. Did you see the one for Suicide Squad? I I just I like Suicide Squad for Har- uh, for yeah Harley Quinn. She's pretty dope. Margot Robbie, baby. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, for Wall Street, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm looking at you like I'm not going to get you in trouble. 
<laughs> Sorry. Um, no, John Cena's in that shit, bro. Did you see that? Really? Oh, John no. John Cena. Come on. And there's some, there's another motherfucker in there that I'm like, why are you in this Dude, movie? I can, after I watched John Cena in Transformers, dude, I was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> like, Was you, he after Mark Wahlberg? Uh, yeah. No, wait. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was the guy that was like, wait, no, was he? No. I was going to say, I don't remember. No, because, so, do you know, did I you watch the Transformers that. where they, like, rebooted the franchise? No, I watched. Up it until was like Mark a total, Wahlberg like total Transformers movie, and the movie was good. Yeah, it was just John, John Cena. Cena was like, oh you couldn't God, see him the whole time, huh? No, <laughs> some dude was talking. And I was like, who the hell is it's talking? It's just an invisible man. And you can't <laughs> like, see me, baby. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> I, there's somebody else on there that I'm like, why? Why are you on here? Yeah. Uh, Suicide Squad. Oh, it's not going to show it to me. But I watched the – my buddy was watching at work, and I watched that. Yeah. Apparently, Will Smith's not in it. Super sad about that because – oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He Kill walked shot. off that project, dude. His name Killshot or Deadshot? Yeah, Killshot. Killshot. So, oh, wait, no. Such a good character. Deadshot, sorry. It is Deadshot, yeah. Apologize to my superhero fans. Fuck, man. I'm butchering names out here. Still waiting for them to make a good Green Lantern movie. Like yeah, that. I've never watched the Green Lantern, so I have no idea. Yeah, he's kind of like – he's kind of – it's kind of like a corny concept, but it's uh, I like the color scheme of his costume. I've heard about Ant Man. Yeah, that's that's just like weird to me. <laughs> yeah, I was I never knew about ba- Ant Man until like his movie came out. I didn't even know the guy ex- actually existed. Yeah, see, and that's crazy because you're all about your superhero shit. So yeah, so they caught me off guard when they're like Ant Man. And I'm like, did they just make up a fucking name? <laughs> like, I mean, like, is that what happened here? And I found out he's actually one of the original Avengers and he was like really what? like, yeah. Like very, oh. like, so his, his companion, um, the Wasp, uh, actually made the Avengers name in the comics. Like they were like trying to figure out like what are, what's, what's our superhero team name going to be? And she was like, well, what about the Avengers? And then, yeah, that was the, that was and the, now the Avengers here we were born. Are. The yeah. Avengers were I'm born. so pissed they didn't make that into, like, the Marvel universe. Like, they didn't actually, like, make her make the name, you know? I didn't even know the Wasp was a girl this whole time. Yeah. I've never watched. Yeah, yeah. It's the, you ever seen the Ant-Man and the Wasp nope. movie? No. no. I've, I'm going to be honest with you. The last superhero movie I watched was Iron Man 2. You didn't watch, actually, Iron Man 1. You didn't watch Endgame? I didn't watch any of the Avengers. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got a marathon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I recently watched all the Star Wars. Yeah, for the first time, I never watched the Rise of Skywalker, or whatever the last one. I never yeah. watched that. I actually, I never watched the last three. Yeah, but I ended up watching them at work. Super good. So, uh, if you uh, if you would have to pick a NBA player to base your franchise off of, who would you pick? If you were gonna start a franchise, LeBron James. What would you call your team name? What? Oh, yeah. that's you put me on the spot. Oh, um, the dude. Hello, the I literally almost just said the Grizzlies. Oh shit! <laughs> trademark. It's like <laughs> the Bears. You imagine? Yeah. Um, well, no. Uh, What's a really cool animal? That's like not another team name. Maybe like the giraffes, dude, because they're super tall, yeah. and I'll just have just only tall players on my team. Yeah, and that's it. No point guards. See, mine would be like uh, it's kind of ripping off from the the um, the nickname for the for Clay Thompson and uh, Steph Curry. But Splash Bros. Ha- well, it'd have to be the Splash, and like Splash. Our, our logo would be like a big ass wave. That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd and be like sick. The logo, the is the way logo less cool would start that. from the shorts, and the wave would come over the top of the jersey like that, and like it would that's way there. cooler than the drafts. My bad. <laughs> Shit. I my my brain doesn't work like it used to oh, before. Man. But I, like not to like shit on your idea, but like it's only the color big dudes. concept for that would kind of be ugly. <laughs> it would, It'd be like the Broncos like finish the, me the yellow and brown jerseys. <laughs> ew! I know. Oh, ew! Okay, never mind. <laughs> we're just gonna stick with the drafts, but we're gonna make them like a cool color draft, like a dude, red and a go white with draft. The... Fuck, dude, who would be a good like a good animal name? Oh man, now you're gonna kind of get me thinking about this one. Rhinos. Hippos. Yeah. See, those are not cool. Yeah. Lions. What? What's a mongoose? And what color is it? A mongoose is the one that it's eats snake, snakes. Right? No, a mongoose oh, eats, eats snakes. snakes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like Fuck, a little dude. fucking ferret, dude. <laughs> not the fireflies. 
because then you have to come out to that Turn I'll sing song. Fireflies. <laughs> <laughs> Every guys. team would just come up with the mentality of like, we just want to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> just, like, just because of your walkout <laughs> song, you little pansy fucks. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, man, it'd have to be something lime green for me. Lion. I'm just going with the lions. But like a lime green logo. Like a brown mane, but like the a lime ducks. Green. That's already a fucking NHL. Like, I can't even think of a team that doesn't yeah. exist in any of the sports. Yeah. Like a- everything. Fuck it, dude. Just go with the Globo Gym Purple Cobras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you actually know the dance. I yeah. love it. I was just going to go. <laughs> and we will. We will rock you. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. That movie's fucking hilarious. Ben dude, I, I tried to show that movie um, to one of my one of my nephews. And he's like, dude, this movie's stupid. He didn't little say that. Kids. They, no, they're they're little, so they didn't like verb it like that. But I was just reading his expression, and he's just like, "This is stupid." Yeah, little you know kids I mean? don't like, appreciate. You don't get it. But he loves Happy Gilmore. He loves. How seeing, does he like that movie? And he yeah, he like loves seeing ball. Happy Gilmore beat up like fans in the or people in the stands. That's what they do in dodgeball too. I know. Kind of. He just yeah. got to get to the good parts. He didn't. Understand. Well, I think it's too mature for him. Yeah, I, I mean, it's one when of those he's movies like, where it's like he doesn't get the get the humor. Where he's like you know? pumping up his dick before that girl comes yeah. in. Yeah, he's like <laughs> doing like an air pump. He would be like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> I don't know. I'm not explaining that to you at all. Right. Yeah, but it's really weird though because he thought the, you know, the the scene where the where he go where Happy goes to his happy place. Yeah. And the uh, the midget that's riding on the bicycle. Okay. He thought that was hilarious. I'm like, wow. Oh, so you think that's funny? Probably because he looks like me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> a midget. All right. Well, Marky, it has been fun. This is one of those fun, uh, unorthodox ones. This I is, love this. We went into some uh, crazy shit today. Oh, dude, fun. I feel like, yeah, I love it. I feel I like whenever I'm on a podcast, I just like we just go off on rants every time. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll make a we'll make a spinoff podcast where it's just literally crazy shit, random stuff. Hashtag sneak peek. Hashtag. Bars of Chains Underground. <laughs> underground. Behind the scenes. <laughs> the it's just that's me. not Bars the Chain. It's just me and Josiah just talking about stupid shit the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Making movie references oh, that probably shit. a lot of people won't get, but uh, it's okay. Well, I got to do like a little business take if you, if oh. you don't mind. Yeah. Um, I'll sit back, relax, and let you do your thing, brother. Well, so uh, we finally got our uh, our mask done as well. You can see the Bars the Chains on there. Ooh. It might not be from the camera angle, but uh, yeah. Got some masks in here. Those are sick, actually. Um. Try to well, can't really put it on because I got this thing over my ears. But you know, yeah, when you cut it on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you know, obviously the shirts. Uh, go get your merch. Uh, go get loaded up on that. Um, get get on the wave before it becomes popular. <laughs> there you go. Um, get that shit. Yes, yes, sir. Um, but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed today, Marky. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks awesome for having interview. me. Um, be sure to go find him on on SoundCloud and uh, hopefully here soon uh, on uh, Spotify. Do it. Follow me on socials, too. I'm fucking hilarious on Twitter. Facts, yeah. Look us up on Twitter. I got to get my Twitter feed going. Yeah, You're you do. You're pretty popular on Twitter, dude. You got you to you get, get your Twitter on there. there. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope today's uh, episode reached you guys in good health and in safety. Uh, we love you all. Thanks. Peace.